you know, after the World Cup, I knew there would be options. It was just about picking the right one. And, uh, you know, for me, it, it, the whole spectrum of the actual city that the club is in, the club itself, how is it run, who runs it, what's the coach like, what are the players like, um, the type of challenge that's, that's there for me on the field, which, am I going to play, um, what kind of challenge do I have uh, as far as, uh, you know, being a leader on the field. And uh, I, I still wanted that. And, and in Europe, I wanted either a big club where I could continue to challenge myself or um, at least play a big role. Vancouver was, was a team that kind of put themselves out there early. Um, I, of course, was honest and said I'm just being patient at the moment. MLS is on the back burner because I know that the MLS season doesn't start for another you know, five or six months. So uh, I, I was patient in the fact of that and stayed in Europe and just stayed fit, trained with Watford, um, did a bit of traveling on my own. and. I went and saw friends I hadn't seen, and during that time, you know, you're opening yourself up to all sorts of different things you haven't been used to in um, seven or eight years, which I hadn't been. And for me, that was that was fun. I enjoyed that a lot. It just took just to unplug for a little bit. And after the uh, the World Cup, it was it was a pretty intense time in my life, and it was nice to just take a step back and just realize not only what had just uh, what had just happened, but you know, just to just to rewire and, and, and to uh, and to figure out the next step, but do it in the right way. Vancouver was the only team that really tried to fight for me. My whole life, I've been kind of doing my own thing of trying to prove to others that I deserve to be there, or I deserve to make it, or I deserve a contract, or I deserve to start, or all the rest of that thing. So I was used to that, and that's you know, and I guess maybe that's the mentality that I that I continue to have until Vancouver came in, and, and you know, they were a team that was willing now to fight for me and say, we really want you. We've you've already proven to us the role that we want you to play. So we want you to come and p try to play that. And, and I, I suppose that was, that was very different for me to hear. Um, but I was very glad to hear that because that's what I wanted to do. You know, people, people have said that, you know, I was out and, and, and things like that, but I never expected to be in. Um, when I'm not playing, I would never expect to be called into the national team. That's just how it works. It's, a lot of people might not understand that, but I understood that because I'm not playing, why, why would I be fit enough to come in and, and play for my country? Uh, you know, although those two things go hand in hand as far as I'm concerned, and I know that's usually the way Bob, uh, Bob goes about things, and, and I think that's the correct way. I had hoped that once I did start playing again that, uh, that Bob would reconsider me, and sure enough that's happened and uh, ready to hit the ground running. I think it's just to continue to try to stay consistent. Um, again, we have, we have a lot of different tournaments and games and friendlies and big games and uh, gold cups, and you know, it's a busy summer this summer, so I think my main focus right now is to try to try to stay consistent on both levels. You know, because I've come into a club uh, where I have to play a bigger role, I, of course I don't want to leave them behind. You know, they're a huge priority for me right now, but so is the national team. So I think right now it's just to try, the, try to find the right balance um, and to make sure that I'm performing at my, my highest capabilities for both.